Hi, hi. I'm really excited today because I bought a number of stuff from Eagle Creek. Now, previously, I only have a half cube, a tube, and two small ones from Eagle Creek. And I'm going to Taiwan in November and those would not be enough for my clothes really they wouldn't they wouldn't be enough um, so I went to Eagle Creek to get my Eagle Creek products from the Planet Traveler at Orchard Ion and um, spent a couple of hundreds there let me show you what I got I got a lock I will be going to Taiwan with my carry-on um, luggage and this is the Osprey 4.40 liters if I'm not wrong let's check it out yeah see 4.40 so um, I don't want to be having so many locks like you know you see there's one zip here and then there's uh, another one here you know I don't want to be having like two locks for those so I decided to get a lock with a combination lock with a cable um, from Eagle Creek and so I can actually um, I don't know just whoosh them around or something like that yep so got that got that and then I got a toiletry bag now previously I already have one from Eagle Creek and I passed it on to my mama because um, she will be traveling with me to Taiwan and um, I just passed it to her I've only used that like once so you open it up and it's like that it, there's like a pouch thingy here and then there's an elastic band here where you know I keep my toothbrush in a stainless steel um, uh, container a long container tube kind so I can actually slot it in here and then there's a zip here where you can put um, say your cotton buds and um, whatnot you know like your scissors and whatnot so there's a little mirror here and then there's another zip here so now Eagle Creek actually came up with a new kind of toiletry bag whereby when you it's, it's sort of like the compartment here is not really like a pouch but rather it there's some space so that I'm not sure if you understand what I'm saying but you can actually put your bottles and have them like standing up get what I'm saying and so of course when you are able to put your bottle standing up when you close it then obviously it's gonna be like this thick and I don't want to get that because I want everything to lay flat especially when I'm only gonna carry a uh, carry-on um, bag like this one here okay moving on I got the um, full full pack I think they call this a normal full pack all right that's one and i got another one but this one is a bit different this one is what they call the clean dirty cube yeah uh, whereby you know you one side you can actually keep um clean clothes and the other you can actually put like your soiled clothes your dirty clothes or slightly damp clothes they have in between they have like a mesh so, you know, when you put clean on one side and damp on the other side, um, they will not interfere one another. As you can see, I've not removed them yet, the labels. So, you can see here, there's like a mesh thingy. So, they, you know, they don't mix. Yeah, so one side is for dirty. Um, that would be this side because the outer layer is like you know it's not see-through I mean there's no holes on it so I got that and then I I was I was a little bit um, what Singaporeans would call kiasu um, I don't know how to explain in English but um, I was afraid that I would run out of uh, cubes and I don't ever want to run out because I don't want to be making another trip down to Orchard just to get the cubes. I mean, Orchard is pretty convenient, but I just don't want to do that. So I got myself a pack of three whereby you have a large cube, 
a half cube and a small little one just like I think this is slightly bigger than my yeah it's just slightly probably just slightly longer than my two small little ones and this one is the cube set they do have one whereby um there's a folder you know but i didn't i didn't get that you can go watch it on youtube videos um they have like a thing whereby you lay it flat and they have a board and you can fold your shirts and your pants and your dresses all together and you layer them on top instead of rolling them and then lay them on top one on top of one another and then you sort of like there's flaps on four sides and you just seal it up and it lays nice and flat but uh, I didn't get that because I don't know I just thought that I just think that uh, rolling clothes saves you more space as compared to like folding them and stuff okay anyway then I I decided to give this a try this one is not now this one is unlike the more structured cubes like these. These are more structured and obviously they weigh slightly heavier. But these ones, they're really light and um, I believe they're made of nylon. I, I might be wrong. Um, yeah, they are not as structured. But uh, yeah, anyway, I got the compression cube set. And what does that mean? That means, you know, you have a zip here. You know, you can fill up whatever you want to fill up. All right. If there's not enough space, you can... Sorry. There's another zip here. You open it up. This is not the, the opening for you to put your clothes in. But you see, when you unzip that, it gives you so much of a width for you to stuff your clothes in. So you open this main zipper up and you just stuff all your clothes in. And then it's sort of like, it's bulky, right? It's it's like probably this fat, it's bulky. And then you want to um, have more space. So you would, um, where is that zipper? Okay, so you would zip it all up like so. You would zip it up and then they would sort of like, it would sort of like compress all your clothes and make it into like not as bulky so that explains the compression cube set now for the structured ones um, I believe they also have the compression um, kind but somehow the planet traveler they didn't carry that so anyway I bought this to try um, I'm not sure if I will like this if I do then I'll probably go and get a set of three but not the compression kind so that's all I got I'm really excited for my um, Taiwan trip come 1st of November. Um, just probably f slightly more than four weeks to go and I'm really looking forward to it. I haven't had a break for the past three, four years. So this is a really long awaited one. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward. I have no idea how many times I just said that. Um, when I'm done with packing and stuff nearer to date, I will do another video and upload onto YouTube and you guys can enjoy. Until then, I'll see you. Bye-bye.